I'm afraid Mr. Armstrong is dead. Brand must have shot him. Too bad he had to die to prove his innocence. Let's hope the film he was developing will help show us the identity of the man that we're after. The film is ruined. It's useless. This held a picture of one of two men, Braley or Hargraves, and one of them is Captain Mephisto. but I finished Armstrong. Yes, his death was necessary, but it narrows the field for Reardon. He has suspected from the first that I am one of the owners of the island. Now he has only two suspects left. We must see to it that he doesn't endanger my plans to control world industry with Forrest's invention. Forrest is stalling. He could have finished the radio atomic transmitter weeks ago. I'll settle that today. My men tell me you're delaying your work in the hope of a rescue, Forrest. I've warned you I wouldn't stand for it. I've told you that the work could not progress as long as you insist upon interrupting with meaningless threats. I am neither frightened nor impressed by your piratical swashbuckling. Maybe this will impress you. You have two days to complete the work. It'll take more than two days to repair that. Kill him! Wait. Death by shooting is too quick and easy but I'll devise a more painful method for your removal. Forrest has plenty of courage. He called my bluff. I didn't know you were bluffing. In another moment, I'd have fired. The only way we can force him to terms is to capture his daughter, bring them face to face, and convince him that her life depends upon his obeying orders. That ought to do it. It will, and at the same time, leave Reardon completely confused as to my real identity. Armstrong, like Melton, met his death in an effort to uncover the identity of Captain Mephisto. Well, then you're still without a clue. Yes, but I'm not giving up. I think Mr. Reardon, as our guest, is perhaps a little reticent about voicing any suspicions that might embarrass us. However, this affair has become so serious that it is necessary to speak plainly. Well, naturally, I have some suspicions and theories. Oh, uh, by the way, this may affect your theories. There was a telephone call for you a short while ago, written by a man who said he'd expose the true identity of Captain Fisto. Of course, that is for a price. Who was the man? Oh, he didn't leave his name, only a telephone number. Let's see, I wrote it down. Oh, I left it near the safe. Just a moment. What time did that message come in? I see, it's important to know when I was here. About a half an hour ago, I'd say. Captain Fisto!
right, Captain Mephisto. This is it. Put up your hands. You were a brave man, Reardon, to follow me here. That little fireplace is where all my enemies meet their end. As you so aptly put it, this is it. Take him, men. Want us to throw him in, Captain? One moment. Let me explain our little drama to Mr. Reardon. We were purposely led here in order that Miss Forrest might be made a prisoner. 